So welcome guys. We're super excited about this call tonight. I know that a lot of you have been reaching out wanting to know how to build your business. So Tara and I worked hard to hopefully bring you some information that will be um, helpful to you and make you more successful as a leader. So if you have any questions along the way, just chat it. Um, type it in the chat function on the side and we will come back to answer your questions in a bit okay so here we go we're gonna share our screen so welcome to how to build your isogenics business A to Z so Tara Flagg is a one-star crystal executive, three-star golden circle. And Amanda Stroud is a crystal executive, two-star golden circle. So one thing that um, I think is important for everybody to understand is kind of where Tara and I come from as far as the business. You know, we all have different backgrounds. I personally work um, in a job where I have to travel 45 minutes one way to get to work. I work long 12-hour days, um, sometimes four, five, six days a week. So I'm just going to show you that it is possible for you to build this business if it's what you really want. And we are gonna lay those tools out for you today. So it doesn't matter if you're full-time, it doesn't matter if you're part-time, there is a way for you to build this business. You just kind of have to be organized and you really have to want it. So we're gonna go, come to you today with how to build your business. Oh, here we go. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, so we just wanted to, um, a lot of times you hear one star, two star, three star, four star, and we just wanted to put um, a little graph up here that shows, now um, remember, Amanda is a two star golden circle, um, and it comes out, look at this, this is a nice income per year, okay? So we just, we're trying to show you what the potential is with isogenics in the business and myself i'm a three-star silver or golden circle excuse me so that would be approximately that per year so again we'd like to just put that into writing and show you the um, possibilities but we also have to make sure that you understand that there is a disclaimer with this because earning levels for isogenics independent associates that appear in this publication are examples and should not be constructed as typical or average. Income level achievements are dependent upon the individual associates business skills, personal ambition, time commitment, activity, and demographic factors. For average earnings, see the isogenics independent associate earnings statement found at isogenicsearnings.com. So, First thing, when you get enrolled, okay, when you get enrolled, your first thing you do is identify who your team leader or upline support is. There are a lot of times that I run into somebody and I say, hey, who's your coach? And they go, I don't know. <laughs> what's like, coach? what's your coach? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean I have a coach? I just got my box at the door. So you want to make sure you identify who your team leader is. It may be whoever enrolled you, or it could be someone that's further up, up your upline. And you want to ask your sponsor who you can reach out to for additional support. For example, if um, somebody enrolled you and they have a mentor that they like to always ask questions to, like um, Genevieve or Dawn or somebody in my upline, I, I may also say that, yes, you have me as your sponsor, but you also have the upline support of so-and-so, 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 so-and-so. Um, you wanna connect with that person, you wanna connect with your sponsor and with your upline, because you know what? They want to help you. We, we want to help you, no matter whose downline you're in, the two of us plus many others want to help you. And you know, one thing that's important to remember about that is just because some, you are somebody's sponsor or somebody's leader, they may connect on a different level with somebody else that is in your upline. So it's always important to make sure that you can identify to them who those support people can be. 
So the second thing that you need to do is to make out that you make sure that you and your new associate have filled out the new associate checklist. Um, this is a really, really good way to stay connected to your new associate and to make sure that you have their goals in line in front of you. Um, this is important information that helps our team leaders establish your health wellness and wealth creation goals. So this checklist is actually already made out for you. You just have to fill it out. You can actually send it to your new associate or you can actually do an interview and you can write down the information of, from the questions that are on this checklist. And again, this helps you to keep their goals and your goals in front of you. Um, an easy way to find this is for you to just Google the new associate checklist Isogenics and you will be able to find this PDF and download it. <clears throat> So the next step, once you enroll somebody and they show some interest in the business, is you add them to our Facebook business pages. So um, below, I listed some of the main ones. There's Dream Achieve Repeat, Body Alive Business Support, Isogenics Business, Healthy Balance Business, and on those, on those Facebook pages, that's where you will find information about company promotions and also all of our calls and all of the information. We do not add every single person to these business pages. If someone shows an interest, a vested interest in building the business or wanting to start to share, that's when you add your associate in there. Because let me just give you an example. If someone just wants to be a product user and you throw them into a business group and they don't want to be in there, they have, may have a bad taste in their mouth. So you just want to add the people that show some interest or that you see potential in um, showing an interest in the business. So how to create consultants. This is one of the absolute biggest questions that we get. How do you create a consultant? Well, the very first most important thing that you can do is make sure they have a great experience. And by doing, by, by making sure of this, you're going to be in contact with them all of the time. And we're going to explain that further as we get along into this call, but never, ever, ever make assumptions about who might want to share. Okay, because there may be somebody that's been a product user for six months that is just waiting for you to show them that there is an opportunity with Isogenics. Because even though you have probably mentioned this to them right away in your three way call or just in brief passing, um, they didn't hear it the first time. So it's really important that you don't make assumptions about this. Um, another thing about creating consultants is that right away when they show any spark of interest or they have that excitement about about the results that they've had, you want to make sure you help them create their power post. And again, we're gonna speak more in terms of all of the things on this slide further down into the call. Um, you also need to make sure that you're showing them how to appropriately set up three-way messages. This is a very crucial step. Um, talk to them about three-way calls because as we all know, if you are not doing three-way calls, you are not building your business. This is a way for not only you to learn more about your associate and your potential enrollee, but this is a way for your new associate to to learn how to do this in the future. So make sure that you refer to the video on how to create consultants on Tara's YouTube page. We're going to be talking a lot about the videos that are on there. So, so how to coach a new associate to make a power post. This is another thing we get a lot of questions about. So let's just say someone's um, on, I don't know, day 10 and and they want to make a power post suddenly. You, some questions you may want to say is, tell me what changes you have seen since starting Isogenics, scale and non-scale victories. So I usually have them tell me it on the phone or send it to me via text or, or private message. And then I say, do you have any pictures I could put side by side for you? A lot of times people can't see their transition. They just can't see it. But if you get a day one picture and a day 12 picture and you put them side by side in, a, in an application and an app for them, they go, holy moly, I, I, I didn't realize I changed that much in 12 days. So sometimes you may need to blow the picture up to focus more on their face. Some people cannot see the changes in their bodies, but as soon as you can see their face you, and you put it side by side, they can definitely see it. So once you have their pictures and you have their non-scale and scale victories, then you help them 
create a compliant power post. And then you explain to them why it's compliant, okay? We understand this. You cannot put weight, measurements, and date all in the same way. People, have, the coaches that have been doing this a while totally understand compliant versus non-compliant. So rather than just throwing your pictures out there and writing, I lost 12 pounds in 12 days, which is non-compliant, what we're telling you to do is reach out to your coach for the first couple power posts. And that's what it says at the bottom. Make sure that you help the associate through their first few power posts so you can guide them in the right compliant manner. Don't just tell them to do a power post guide them through the power post. And if you as a new, a new consultant or as a new business builder don't understand how to do that, make sure you reach out to Tara or myself or Genevieve or Dawn. We'll, we're more than happy to help you do that. Yes. We do that a lot. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so three-way messages. This can be very tricky because um, a three-way message needs to be set up fairly quickly after a power post has been made. And the reason is, is because there's so much interest and there's, you know, so much energy going into your power post. So you want to make sure that not only you, but your associate understands what a three-way message is and how to set it up. So encourage your new associate to respond to each comment. For example, when you, when you, you, you need to stay compliant in this. Um, so make sure that you ask them to say, I will send you a message. Whenever this happens, not only does it keep the post bumped, but it keeps, it allows your associate to take this question about their power post into a private message with them and you as the coach. So um, this is a teaching and learning tool again, like I talked about before. This helps you to teach your associate um, and it, it helps to take the converse, let you take the conversation over as the leader because your associate doesn't know a lot of these things yet. So this is the perfect opportunity for them to see, first of all, the questions you ask, how you talk to them, for example, about pricing, um, how to get them onto a three-way call. So this helps to build the confidence to do this on your own in the future. So you should use about four to five different times um, of, of mess, putting them into a, a three-way message before they should be able to feel confident enough to do this on their own. So what do you say once you get them in the three-way message? So this is no longer on the Facebook wall. This is now in a, in a message. So let's just say Amanda's my coach, I'm the associate, and Susie is the person that wants to learn more. So um, I would say to Susie, would it be okay if I added my coach to this message. You want to always ask their permission first. You don't just want to throw Amanda, you don't just want to throw a third person in the conversation without asking. Imagine if you were in a conversation on Facebook and someone just added a person like randomly, you're like, who is that? Like, what the heck? So you want to ask their permission first. So example, would it be okay with you if I add my coach to a three-way message with us? She may be able to answer the questions I cannot, okay? What they should say when the three main wait. So now they say yes. You can say, Hey, Susie, this is my coach, Amanda, and she has been with the company for 18 months. She's a great resource for you. And since I am new, um, she will be able to answer your questions to help get you started. So that's a nice way to get it off of you and get it onto your coach. I think it's time for um, a hat change. Okay, this one. Okay. Just in case we lost your attention. <laughs> now we got it back. <laughs> All right. So three-way calls. Three-way calls are so important. And like I said before, if you're not doing three-way calls, you are not going to grow your business. So with a three-way call, all three people need to be on the call. I understand that sometimes it's very hard to get this set up because so, for like me, I work varying hours, so it, it's very difficult mm -hmm. sometimes for me to be able to get calls set up with my um, associates and my consultants. So I try as hard, <laughs> it's bouncing, sorry, mm -hmm. as hard as I can to make it, it work so that all three people can be on the call. Yes. And the reason is because your associate is going to learn from what you say to the new potential associate. Yes. So it's so important that all three of you are on the call. So make sure that you set this appointment up through a three-way message. And what I like to do is this. 
So for example, Susie is in the three-way message and I, as the coach say, I would really love to explain more to you about this system. I have available four o'clock on Wednesday or three o'clock on Thursday. Which of these works for you? This leaves it open. It does not leave it open-ended. This gives them two direct times that they are able to get on the call with you. And it's much more likely that they're going to set up a call with you. So your associate, whenever they get you on a three-way call in the very beginning, you need to introduce your yeah. coach to the potential associate. And then you need to allow your coach to take over the call. No interruptions. This is very important. Mute yourself. Mute yourself and listen to the conversation until the coach actually asks you to um, give your experience. So mm -hmm. again, this isn't a learning experience. Make sure that you're taking notes while you're doing this and you're on mute because this is going to help you be confident in doing a three-way call with your associates in the future. So when you're on a three-way call, you need to mention the business. It's super important to do this, and this is how you can do it. Hello, Susie. You know, I'm so excited about you getting started, but I want to tell you that there is an opportunity for you. I'm obligated to explain to you that if you decide or when you have wonderful results like I know you're going to, you can actually earn your products for free. So would it be okay if I explain to you how you can pay off your credit card bill before it even comes in in the next 30 days? Bam. Then you explain the business to them. Now, some people are going to say, no, not right now. And that's yeah. okay. But you have to make sure that you plant that seed at the very beginning that, you know, they're making a huge investment in their health. And there's an opportunity that they could get that investment back very quickly. So it's your job to make sure you mention the business in the very beginning. That's very, very important. Very yeah. important. Every three-way call should have some mention of the, the business, for sure. Now, we don't lead in with it. Absolutely. So we don't not. say, hey, Susie, this is Amanda. Oh, but, you know, you know, I make a lot of money with Isogenics, and then you tell them about the products. You yeah. do not do that. You do it exactly how Amanda just said it. Um, you, you, I usually put it in at the very end of the conversation. Okay, so now the person enrolls. And you have to do an open box call, guys and gals. If you're not doing an open box call, you are missing. This is a huge time where you can mention the business again. So what I do is as soon as I enroll the person, I set, <laughs> I set up the appointment for the open box call. Because you know approximately when the box is going to get there. So you set up um, that open box call. And to be honest, I do the open box calls with the person that was just enrolled and with the, uh, the other person. So I actually do like a three-way open box call. That may not happen all the time, especially with like Amanda's busy mm -hmm. schedule. She may only do the open box call, but I like to, as a, as a learn, teaching method, the three of us do it all at once. So you want to send them the open box call video and you, you, I aim to have all three people on this call. And usually with open box calls, Unlike the call we were just talking about, the three-way call, it only takes two or three times of going through it before you get the hang of it. You're not going to need your coach on open box calls for the rest of your life. You're only going to need them on for a couple times till you figure out exactly how they go, and then you can start doing them on your own. And you also want to make sure that they know when to take their pictures, weigh in, take their measurements, join the ISA body challenge. You want to make sure that you tell them on the open box call all of those things. So we are, we have been through the three-way call, our three-way message. We have been through the three-way call. Yep. We have our new associates started because we've done the open box call yep. and they know how they're going. So we're at day five. So we like to call these our day five go-getters. These are our people who are ready to share their results. So make sure as a coach that you are following up with your new associate 
every single day, days one through five. Important. Yes. And very important. Very important. And it may even be a couple of times a day on days one through five. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that you consider keeping the three-way message open because this allows you to show, you know, the new coach how you follow up. Um, that way, for example, Susie and myself and Tara are in this message. And I, as the coach, may be reaching out to Susie for somebody who is just getting started in the business and saying, hey, Susie, how it's go how's it going today? This just reminds that associate, oh, I need to be checking in on that person. Mm -hmm. And it shows them what you do to be able to grow, you know, grow this associate. They may be a product user, but this is your ready to go. This is your ready to share person. So on day five, this is when all the excitement happens. You need to send a message to that new associate asking them about their results, their scale and non-scale victories, mm -hmm. kind of like we talked about before. You know, would you mind sharing your pictures and successes with me? If this person says yes, okay, this is what you need to do. So tell them how many people are going to be inspired by their results because they really are. We have something that everybody needs and something that everybody wants. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many people that would benefit from this gift you have. Now is when you help them create that power post. You need to ask them who they know. They need to start thinking about who they really want to share this with. So on day five, it's so important that you are using those steps we talked about to help them create a compliant power post. If you don't understand how to do it, then make sure that you reach out to somebody who does. We can get in a three-way message and we can help you create a power post very simply. Day five is so important guys. If you're not capturing day five, day five is like a key day that you could create a consultant. Mm -hmm. If they're having good results <clears throat> and they want to start to share, this can be a consultant for you. So day five is a crucial, crucial day. But they may not even know they want to share. Not yet. Yeah. We're yeah. going to go on some other ones here. So these are the day five on the fencers. We call, see the back here, we call these people the go-getters. Mm -hmm. We call these people the on the fencers. I'm not really sure if I want to share. Amanda's really good with these. So why don't you do this on Amanda? <laughs> so I know that a lot of times I get people who, um, you know, they're like, well, I just, I just don't want to share. And I'm, so what I usually do is I'm, I ask them, would you mind sharing your pictures and your successes with me? Okay. Privately. Privately. So they tell me that they don't mind sharing them with me, but they don't want to share them on their page. So. What I like to say is, well, how would you feel? For example, I have um, associates who actually send me a text message that says, I lost five pounds since I started this system. I feel great. I'm sleeping awesome. I'm not sure what's in this stuff, but I can't stop going. I will actually take a screenshot of that text message and I will send it to them. And I will say, you know, I know a lot of people who are in your position in the position that you were in five days ago. Would it be okay if I posted this on my Facebook page? And they might say, well, I don't want my name on it. And, and that's, I will say, that's okay. I would just like to be able to show somebody else what some of the people in my team are doing. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. But you can share that and that can help you reach out to other people. Now, if they say that they don't mind if you share their name, like tag them in this. Mm -hmm. This actually is magical because I had an associate who did not want to share on her private page, mm -hmm. but I took her pictures that she sent to me and I put them in a Moldive account um, and it put them side by side and her transition was amazing. And I, she told me it was okay if I tagged her in this mm -hmm. and she enrolled 20 people. 20 people and she didn't make a single power post. I made mm -hmm. the power post. So it just goes to show you, they might not be ready to share, but they might be okay with you sharing their personal success. But this, what this did for her is it created all of this, this great feeling of knowing that she was going to help people and she was bombarded with people asking yeah. her what she was doing. And next thing you know, she's a consultant and then she's a manager and then she's cycling five times and it was overwhelming for her. So they may not understand that they're ready to share, but if you can share it on your page and tag them in it, it go, it, it just shows them what, you know, then you can start to explain the business a little bit more to them. So you know, if they don't, if they want to be tagged, you know, you can tell them that if you are not ready to be a business builder, um, but you're okay with me, what you're okay with me sharing your post 
and having people reach out that are your friends. We have two options for you. Two options of what can happen after uh, this. Changing that. That was a lot. Which one are we doing this time? Oh, yeah. My throat's getting scratchy. I hear that. <laughs> okay. So here are your two options. Option one. They get the enrollment to rank advance, okay? So if they agree that they want to be a coach, you, they have to understand the coaching requirements, okay? Um, Amanda was going to tell a little story in this one, but um, I'll, I'll go over this stuff first. They have to commit, and you have to explain this to them, guys. You... I've had the most raw <laughs> conversations with people. I said, listen, you will go consultant, but I need to know and I need to hear from you that you are going to commit to ordering 100 BV every month to, to keep yourself active as a consultant. Do you agree to do this? Yes or no? And the answer was yes on this one. And I said, okay, I will help you coach your people that we're enrolling under you, but I need you to stay active. That's important. Tell about the, yeah. So I, I actually, um, as Crystal Executive, you have to have five active consultants on your right-hand side and five active consultants on your left-hand side. And I had juggled, juggled, juggled with this for a while. And I had been um, placing orders underneath people in order to stay active, which that's not something that Isogenics is probably very compliant about, but they wanted to stay as a coach. They told me they wanted to do this. So I sent them their product and paid for their product so that they could stay active. Well, it kept happening every month and it got to the point where I finally, they came to me and they said, Hey, I have an enrollment and this would have yes. been their fourth enrollment. And I said, okay, you know, listen, I'm spending $170 every month to keep you active because you say you want to do this, but you're not, you're not using the product. You're, you're not helping or coaching your people. So we need to have a heart to heart. If you're not willing to commit and to be a consultant and do what it takes to be a consultant, then I'm going to have to ask you if this is what you want. And if it's not, if you're not wanting to put in this commitment, then I think this needs to be, you know, we need to talk about other options. So at that time she told me, no, I really don't want to do this, but she gave me the referral. So it became my personal enrollment. And so it just, you have to be very raw. Like Tara yeah. says, you, I finally learned that you have to be upfront with people and you have to say, listen, I, you know, this, this is how it has to be. If you want this, then you have to work for it. You can't want this for somebody. They have to want it for themselves. All you can do is give them the tools. Uh, yeah. It, it's very important, guys. You don't want to continue. You have to just be so open and honest. So they have to understand and they have to learn how to be a coach. They need to be aware of the time frame of rank advancements and the potential income they could acquire. You need to be, as their coach, you need to tell them, because um, you know, for getting crystal manager, you need to do it within 60 days of your, their enrollment. If you see that potential and they're consultant and they're going to be crystal manager and the time is coming, you have to, as a coach, tell them, Oh, hey, January 2nd, if you know, that's your deadline to become crystal manager. Let's come up with a plan on how you can do this. Are you interested in doing this? And you have to be on top of that. Um, you know, it gets, it gets overwhelming mm -hmm. as a coach when you have so many people below you. But if you, if you're a good coach, you got to just got to be on top of everything. Um, they need to understand auto ship and how to, how to introduce this to their um, new enrollment also. So bonuses and double PIB. So your job as a coach is to always know when someone in your downline has enrolled someone. And the easiest way for you to do this is to make sure that you've downloaded loaded ISA pulse. So um, anytime I have a downline member that enrolls somebody, it comes through my ISA pulse and I can immediately say, congratulations, I see that you got an enrollment today. So say that this person enrolled somebody on a, on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they've enrolled one person this week. It is your job as a coach to let them know, hey, did you know that if you get another enrollment by Sunday, you're gonna get double bonuses? This is 
so exciting to somebody to know and they're going to work hard for that double bonus and they're going to say what's a PIB so you have to know what a PIB is you have to know that if you enroll somebody from Monday to Sunday if you have two enrollments two or more you're going to get double bonuses okay so double product introduction bonuses um, you also need to make sure that if it looks as if your associate may only have one enrollment like I just said come Friday Saturday or Sunday encourage them to wait to put that enrollment in until Monday because this actually allows them seven days to acquire that double PIB. If they don't think or you don't think that they're gonna be able to get an additional enrollment by Sunday, then ask them to wait till Monday to put it in because then they have seven days to get that double PIB. And I actually, and I, I, I don't know if she's on the call because we can't see who's on the call when you share the screen like this, but um, if she is, she knows who I'm talking about. I actually did this today, someone got an enrollment and I said, if you enroll, I figured it out on my calculator, if you enroll another person by this date, you will make this much money. And it was like, yay, you know, and it was a lot. Because <laughs> she's, been, she's been active since June of 2015. That's so awesome. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. So, so you, got, you got to put that in because so, they don't realize that. You got to put those numbers in there. Option two. They want to remain a product user. Okay, so we just went, they want to be a consultant, they want to start to share, to, they just want to be a product user. There's that's a, okay. That's okay. Yeah, absolutely. 83%, right? Except your business, 83% of yeah. product users. So what they can do, though, is they can refer new enrollments to you. I just enrolled somebody, and I doubt it she's on this call, but I just enrolled somebody in November, and I, I mentioned the business to her, and she goes, oh, no, I am, I'm not going to do the business, but... If I have somebody that's interested, I promise to refer them to you. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you fantastic. just you open that open that communication. So from the beginning, yeah, from the beginning, yep, you should be open for this. So this referral should be placed under your associate on your tree as your personal enrollment, personal enrollment. Okay, and you tell them why. <laughs> This gets a little confusing. This might be a little too deep for this call, but if someone doesn't want to be a coach, they just want to be a product user, but they give you a referral, you can enroll that person underneath them as you're personally enrolled. They will accumulate the BV as long as they um, continue to order 100 BV or more. So then if 18 months down the line they decide to share, that BV is there ready to be released into, my, into cycles, into money. So another thing you could do is you could always offer to give them the product introductory bonus, um, and that's optional. You don't need to do that, but <laughs> she's playing footsies with me. Sometimes you, um, sometimes you can do that. You can talk to your associate about that. You, you want to stay active every auto ship every 28 days, 100 BV. Because if they stay active and eventually share isogenic, just like the gal I gave the example for that I talked to this afternoon, she's been nonstop ordering since June of 2015, um, it can turn into cash. I mean, she has like almost 4,000 PV, which is personal volume built up that will get released as soon as she enrolls two people. So remember, this makes you the new enrollments coach, whether you know them or not and that's key it is you may not know the person but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't you you have to be their coach mm -hmm. you're their coach now I've had people sign up on my website yeah more than one time and they they sent me private messages and said guess what I'm your new I'm in your new enrollment and I'm like I don't even know who this person is yeah but I coached them yeah I found out who they were what they wanted to gain from this so you are their coach you are their coach. Yeah. So it's important. Yeah. That, this is a very important slide. So if you do watch the recording, you could always go back and look at that one. Um, we're not going to go into too much detail on this. Posting on Facebook, Facebook or other social media, consistency is the key. I wish we would have bolded that, mm -hmm. read it. I Absolutely. mean, woo -woo, flashed it across there. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. We post every single day. There are some of you out there that think you can post once a week and that's enough. No, you need to be consistent. So I'm not, we're not going to go into too much detail here. There's the 10, four, one rule. Um, the appropriate times to post most appropriate are month, um, morning, seven to 9 AM evening, seven to 9 PM with Sundays being the biggest day. And, um, refer back to the video we posted in the slideshow. I think we're up here. 
Yes. yes. He, these mm -hmm. are the videos that we'd like. Um, so if you go on the YouTube and you search Tara Flag, you'll find all of these videos and more. Okay. Three pages of videos. Mm -hmm. How to use your Facebook to build your business. How to build your avatar. Tori did that one. How to brand yourself on Facebook. I did that one. These are all really important, good videos that we've all taken a lot of time and a lot of research to to put together for you guys. Absolutely. So going to and search YouTube TerraFlag, you'll find all that information on there. And again, we're not gonna go into too many details on that. So your responsibilities as a coach, and yes, if you want to be a coach and you want to be a business builder, these are your responsibilities. Because yep. it's not up to me, it's not up to Tara, it's not up to Dawn, it's not up to Robin, it's not up to Genevieve, it's up to you. This is your choice and I, I'm telling you, we are offering you the tools and we will always be there to help you, but you have to know how to coach somebody else to also become a business builder. And that somebody has to be able to coach somebody else to be a business builder. So make sure they understand their commitment to ordering the 100 BV every 28 days. This is very important. This is going to make sure that you keep constant cycles, constant BV through your business. Um, make sure that you're in contact with the new associate daily for the first 11 days. And then you should definitely have occasional check-ins after the 12th day. Uh, just because they're done with 11 days doesn't mean they're not still your associate. You know, they are still going to need to know how to set up their auto ship. They're still going to want to know what they need to do after the 12 days. They're going to want to know in six months what they do to maintain themselves after they get, you know, after they get to their goals. Um, also make sure that you're checking your back office for your downline auto ship dates. Okay. This is important. This is going to actually show you where your BV is coming from. Um, it'll show you if people are inactive. You need to be on top of this. Um, it's also your responsibility to get your team members on the team calls and get them to events. And that doesn't just mean them. That means you need to be there as well because your team is watching what you're, you are doing. And if you're on the calls and you're at the events, they're more than likely to follow you there. Um, teach them everything you have learned on this call, including the business builders checklist that we have, we've been going through. Um, also alert your downline about any specials. You can find these specials, um, at isogenics.com. You can find them on healthy balance family. You can find them on any of the websites, but if you keep to yourself, the fact that there's free enrollment, you're not going to build your business because this is that that free enrollment could mean five enrollments for you that week because somebody has just been waiting for the opportunity to enroll, but twenty nine dollars could be a lot for them. <coughs> Excuse me. And remember, if, if you want them to be a good coach, if you want them to be a good coach, <coughs> you must be a good coach. So yes. you must be consistent. <laughs> Are you okay? That throat coat's not helping. <laughs> We got her some tea here. I think we need one more, one more um, change okay. here. <laughs> that was a tough one. Sorry. Okay. Last, last hat change. So first step in getting your products paid for, go to www.isomovie.com, click on health recreation and watch the U plus two, then plus two video. This is your first step in getting your products paid for. We're not going to go into much detail tonight, guys, about this. Think about who you want to share this with and who they might want to share this with. And then, um, executing you plus two, then plus two will yield you a $250 bonus. Um, if done in uh, 60 days of enrollment, again, there's so, we wanted to go over so much else that, that mm. this was, this was one thing we didn't, mm -hmm. we were just touching on, to be honest. So follow the roadmap to success. Okay. So go to www.isogenicsbusiness.com and click start here. This is your roadmap. It's laid out for you. Follow the six steps one by one. This actually will allow you to be in action to earn your products and more. And you can find the six steps training video on YouTube. Make sure you search TerraFlag. <laughs> just search me. Glad I, <laughs> I, glad I put all the nice videos in there now. Right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the six steps to building your isogenics business. Talk to your team leader about a time frame for completing watching the six steps. All six steps are located on YouTube under TerraFlag. Check in with your team leader after each module with any questions that you may have, and you can move through the steps as quickly as, as you wish or as slowly as you wish. You just want to make sure you get through all the steps and make sure you have your pen and pen ready, pen and paper ready for note taking. So develop your contact list. This is key. This is so important. 
Um, use the form in module two to develop your contact list because if you're serious, this is the first critical step. Um, this is one step that I actually didn't do until after I'd already gotten started. And now I'm starting on my second list and I'm st starting on my third list. And I always refer back to each list. Um, you should have a list of between 40 to 100 people. Who do you know? Who do you know that can benefit from what you have? So prioritize the top 10. And you can't just drop, you know, somebody a message and say, hey, um, how are you doing today? And expect that to be considered contacting that person. You actually have, you know, you have to figure out who these people are. Even though you know them, you need to make this personal when you reach out to them. So develop a strategy for reaching out to them. Um, this will help you to set up three-way calls and your leader can help you with this. Team calls. Remember, guys, commit to being on our team call each Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The format's always changing depending on the needs of the team. We are taking the um, month of January off to focus on other things, um, but we will be coming back in February. We do have a team call this Wednesday that's very important, and then next Wednesday. So I do advise you to try to get on this week and next week's team calls, and then we're gonna take January off. But the team calls are very important. That's where we've learned a lot of our mm -hmm. information that we're giving you tonight. So this is something that's extremely important, self-learning and self-development. Um, as a coach, you should make sure that you familiarize yourself with the tools. Isogenicsbusiness.com is a fantastic tool for you to go to for any questions that you have about business building. Um, YouTube, again, Tara Flagg, these have all of our team calls on there. They have all the six steps of building your Isogenics business. They have calls on how to post on Facebook. Um, Isogenicspodcast.com. This is a fantastic way for you to actually learn things about Isogenics other than just from your team. They talk about new products. They talk about how to use products. They talk about how the millionaires, the millionaires talk to you about how they've built their business. So these are fantastic, quick ways for you to learn a little bit more about Isogenics through personal stories. Um, also self-learning and self-development books. I know that I have read The Energy Bus. I love that. The Carpenter. Those are some fantastic books. Quick, easy reads. Something that actually changes your mindset a little bit. And you have to have the right mind when you're going into this building your business. Um, another a good resource is www.isamovie.com. Familiarize yourself with this website because all of these movies will actually reach out to a certain person that may be interested in what you have. And they can be customized to that, that potential associate. Um, it's your responsibility as a coach to commit time to self-development to enhance your business potential. <clears throat> events, events are key, 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 key to your success. So talk to your team leader about the upcoming local events. And then also we have celebration in all, every August. We have Isogenics University and University in Action, which are year round. New Year's kickoff is in January. <laughs> January 11th through the 14th. We're we have a lot of recognition from our team. Yeah, we're year. just like, oh yeah. Okay, Super Saturday, we went to one in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So get committed to an event soon. It is one of the most important things that you do. Look at that. That's like the biggest, boldest thing yeah, that we yes. have on this call, guys, tonight. So if you get, <laughs> go to they an event. It's so fun. You learn so yes. much. So new associate placement on your tree. Oh boy. <laughs> As a new associate, you may be very overwhelmed with right side, left side, left leg, strong leg, weak leg. It doesn't matter right now. No, Just doesn't. make sure you reach out to your team member for the first few enrollments because it's really important where you place them, but you need to know where to place them so that you can actually understand why you're placing them there. So make sure you reach out to your team member for help with that. I still have people that I enrolled last June, <laughs> last June that contact me and say, Tara, I have an enrollment left or right. <laughs> still do. I don't care. I'd rather them contact me than put them on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. So contact us. <laughs> if you have any questions, Oh, if you have any compensation plan questions, reach out to your team leader. I hope they don't mind. Robin yeah. and Don, we did put your phone numbers on there. We also put mine and Amanda's. You can always find us on Facebook as well. Um, we were always here to help you. And we are going to stop this share because that is um, the completion. Of <laughs> oh, well, we can see yeah. ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, oh, let's see all these questions. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, well, 
if, if anyone has any, I know there was some talking going on over there, but we couldn't see anything. If someone wants to unmute themselves and ask a question, we'd be happy to answer it. Hey, I have a question that I don't know why I don't know the answer to, but um, what open box video are you guys referring to? I can send it to you. I send it to all my, um, all my, so I send it, when I initially enroll somebody, I send them the welcome, save this email, welcome um, email. I send them great video to watch before, when your box arrives, which is the open box call. And then I do an open box call, just kind of preps them for it. Is it what, is it one that you did? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. Is it an isogenics resource? Yes, 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 it is. That's what I, that's what I wanted to know. It's an isogenics resource. So I'm just wondering if it could be shared publicly so that everybody knows where it is, because I used to send the, um, I used to send a few things that actually aren't there anymore. So I just want to know where you're getting it from. Yeah, I can, I can, I can post it on this event. Afterwards. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Were there any other questions, Genevieve or? I think can you, hey Tara, can you post it in um, Dream Achieve Repeat too? Yep. Thank yeah, you. I think we've mostly been um, fielding them. Susan, Suzanne, yep. Susan wanted to know about getting on the team calls, but um, she's gonna we're gonna get her in Dream, Dream Achieve Repeat, I think, and uh, make sure she she's getting uh, getting hooked into the calls. I think other that, than that. Other than that, we answered everything. Uh, um, Genevieve noticed and. Um, and Heather as well, I think, and, and I noticed when I did an enrollment uh, last night or the night before, they've actually changed the, uh, the default auto ship to 28 days. I saw that whenever I did an, I did an enrollment yesterday or the other. I'm like, what? Did I change oh. that already? And I didn't remember <laughs> that. Too. That's, that's what I, mean. I know. It's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I haven't had an enrollment yes. <laughs> in a little while, I guess. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Awesome. Kick it up. I, I'm, don't worry. I got it going. Um, any other questions? I hope this was helpful. We tried yeah. to, well, she tried to liven it up a little bit with our little hats. No, there. no, no, no. Uh -huh. Now, Tara asked me to please bring hats over. Don't you lie. You knew you <laughs> oh. She has been acting like she hates the hats, but I know yes, she has. <laughs> She's making me blush. But anyway, we do she hope. You got called out, sister. You just got called out. We hope this call was helpful. Yes, for and sure. um, what we did was we basically took Dawn's business builder checklist, new business builder checklist, and made an entire video out of it. We have every component of what Dawn had in there, plus we added just a little bit more. And um, I think it went from A to Z. We went from enrollment to you're a consultant and you want to share, and every step in between. But yep. if you have any other um, specific questions, you could always message uh, one of us. Absolutely. We and, are the Z, and the Z is for making money while you sleep, right? Oh, mm -hmm. yes, for sure. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> We're going to put on our nightcaps. <laughs> what the heck? Not you're cats. weird. You're no, weird. I'm not. Okay. Well, I've, thank you, everyone. And if you do know, if you have somebody else that wants that you you think this call would you benefit from, mm -hmm. we are doing it again. Yes, on Thursday. On Thursday at noon. Twelve p.m. Noon. Central, one p.m. Eastern. You'll be seeing us again, probably That's in right. Paris, so. Okay. Thank, thank you, everyone, you. for coming tonight. We appreciate it. And if you have any more questions, just ask us. Absolutely. Okay. See you guys. Yes. You guys, this was an awesome, awesome call. Thank you so much for doing it and spending the time and putting it together and actually doing it twice. And everybody who's on this call, really, you need to bring somebody else to the call because it was really, I think it was that good, right? I think that if, um, if anybody can invite people to the call and get their potentials to the call that might be interested, we might have a special prize for them. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Sounds like a deal. We like giving stuff away. We do. We love it. <laughs> All right, everyone have a good night. Enjoy your family.